um, I'd like to thank you all for your support. You've been tremendous this year. I know the players have fully appreciated it. Um, it's helped us get through at times. Um, it's been, in, in ways, difficult. We were thrown together at, in August, um, very, very late into, into pre-season with days to go before the season started. So there was players coming in and out uh, very late. Uh, I must thank the players because at, at that time I was caretaker manager and it made it a seamless transition for myself. Um, going from assistant manager to being manager. Um, and they've been absolutely fantastic. Um, from, from day one, they've worked their socks off. They've been open-minded in the way that we've asked them to try and play. Uh, the experienced players have, have made it very easy for me. Darren Ward, Jamie Kevley have been fantastic in, in experienced players. And uh, I'd like to thank all the players for that. I think it's well documented, everyone knows about our lack of, of funds or finance at the minute, but what we've done this year just goes to show that it's not the be-all and end-all, and you can, if you work hard and you're organised and play a certain way, you can be competitive with, with the rest of the division, and hopefully, you know, with the guys that we've got, and if we can add one or two next year, why, why can't we go and finish one or two better than we have this year, so who knows, if we get it right pre-season, and uh, who knows where we can go. So I'd just like to thank you all again for your support. Uh, it's been a fantastic year for myself. I know the boys have enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for staying behind them and keep behind them in the future. Thank you. And Karen is going to bring forward Dan and Lizzie. And they're all going to have something to say about their chosen player. The disabled support group we provide to disabled to raise <laughs> and what's been the best moment for you this year, do you think? Um, probably playing against Chelsea, even though we didn't win. Um, it was good to come up against, come up against that kind of caliber of player, so yeah, it's great game. One particular save that sticks out for you? Um, <laughs>
You heard about the fundraising earlier, we can't afford the satellite link to White Hart Lane. <laughs> to come forward to present the trophy to the Player of the Year this year. You reveal the winner of the Player of the Year for Swindon Town 2013-2014. Congratulations, Nathan Thompson. Thank you. 